Here's a look off toward the west from our overhead door neighborhood weather network. Cameron, you can't even see Pikes Peak. Here's a look at what it looks like on top of Pikes Peak. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is more snow continuing to fall on America's mountain. Thankfully for the lower elevations, we're just getting rain, but soon enough, it'll be snow. That change will happen, of course, over the next couple of months. But as far as your Tuesday afternoon is concerned, the umbrella should do the trick. We are still tracking some pretty light rain around the Pikes Peak region right now, so there may be a few wet roads to contend with for the evening drive. A little soggier off toward the west over the Wets and Sangres, where heavier rain is impacting the Hayden Pass burn scar. A flood advisory has been upgraded to a flash flood warning that will now stay in effect until 645. We're getting a bit of rain off to the south and west of Pueblo with a bit of light rain also around. Pueblo and Pueblo West. Avondale getting some showers as well. Between Walsenburg and Aguilar, we have some heavier rain impacting areas along I-25. That may again slow down the evening drive. So if you are heading out this evening, grab the umbrella and give yourself a little extra time. These storms are going to stick with us for quite some time as this system continues to track right across the state of Colorado, keeping these storms in place through the evening and into tonight. Skycast is showing that we are still looking for quite a bit of heavy rain through 8 o'clock. Skycast is using that yellow low shading to show where we may have the heaviest rain come 8 o'clock. That will be around the Pikes Peak region through Fremont County and also over southern I-25. These storms will last well into tonight by midnight. Still looking at a few scattered showers around the Highway 50 corridor as well as up across the high country. These storms will likely linger into your early Wednesday morning. Also by 7 a.m. still looking at a few showers around Colorado Springs into Teller County and up along the Palmer Divide. These storms will last into about lunchtime with a few more storms into tomorrow afternoon, primarily south of Highway 50 and along the I-25 corridor. These storms will last through the evening tomorrow, but by tomorrow night, the system will finally get out of here, and that will allow for clearing skies into your early Thursday morning. Temperatures tonight will be falling into the 50s along and east of I-25. May feel a little cooler than that, though, as we are expecting the wind to kick up overnight as that cold front slides through. Behind the cold front, temperatures tomorrow will only be getting into the 60s and 70s for most. It is going to be a much cooler day, and we'll keep the wind in place along with those showers tomorrow to help make it feel chillier than it actually is. 70 in Colorado Springs tomorrow, 69 then on Thursday. Temperatures will warm back up though. Drier air is expected to move in, which will help to drop the chance for storms as we take you through the weekend and into early next week. Highs getting back into the upper 70s, Saturday, Sunday, and then again on Monday. In, up in Pueblo, 77 degrees will be your high temperature tomorrow. We'll hit 75 on Thursday. 83 will be your high temperature Friday with mid 80s over the weekend. Upper 80s expected Monday into Tuesday. We'll keep that daily chance for storms in place through Monday. In Canyon City, 74 degrees tomorrow. 73 on Thursday. Temperatures in the upper 70s Friday. Low 80s over the weekend. We'll keep the 80s in place Monday and again on Tuesday. And in Teller County, 60s from Wednesday into Thursday with mid 60s Friday. We'll finally make our way back to 70 degrees come next Sunday. A daily chance for storms, though, is expected in Teller County through early next week. I want to encourage you if there is any weather happening in your neighborhood and you can safely take pictures or even better videos for us, be sure to share this with us on Facebook.